Good morning, Rudy. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. I'm always interested in finding out what it's really like to be in this place where you are right now, because it's almost like being on the corner of walk and don't walk. It's like your past is still there, but your future is wide open. Yeah, it's literally exactly just like that. I mean, it's the most intense thing I've ever done. And um, like you said, we're we're right in the middle of it right now. So <laughs> it's it's just beginning, you know, and um super super exciting just watching you know the blinds and the battles with my family and making it to the next round is um super super exciting and just excited to watch the knockouts when when you're in a competition like this i understand that prep is everything but you can over prep and that's going to stress out the voice what do you have to do to make sure that you don't over prep yeah that's a really good question because it's super hard i'm a perfectionist so i uh, tend to overwork myself and I actually before I got on the show no one knows this but I um got diagnosed with little nodules on my cords um because I could I could see yeah I could see that uh my voice was going away sooner like I was losing my voice a lot quicker than usual so I went to go get a check and they're like yeah you actually have two on each side and you're gonna need to be careful I'm like are you kidding me like right before the freaking show are you joking so that has been a huge hurdle because, um, you know, you, you, I, I'm a singer. I need my voice. So that I, I even if I wanted want to overwork myself, I cannot I can't because it's I, I have these things on my on my cords right now. So um, that's been maybe a, a blessing in disguise because I know when to stop myself right now and when <laughs> to not. Otherwise, I'd be singing all day and all night so yeah. yeah because the average person does not know you know the di- the discipline of taking care of a voice i mean you should see what i have here in this studio just to protect my voice and and because i mean oh my th- God. this is our job and, and if we ruin right. this thing we're in trouble i know people do not do not get it as right i'm drinking tea constantly literally just every minute of the day i wake up drinking my hot tea you have your honey just eating honey hot, like raw you know <laughs> uh, my lozenges all the stuff warming waking up doing warm-ups right away anytime i'm singing it's you know like you said people don't understand but it's it's a lot of work it's like a it's a muscle you know so you have to take care of it it's like any other sport that you would play but it's our voices so i think that's why people don't see it as the same is because it's not typical you know you're not stretching before you're playing football but it's you're doing it in a different way you know being right there on the stage of nbc's the voice i mean to 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 see everything that's going on you want to get yourself so vocally involved like a good concert but you you've got you've got to keep that that voice under control don't you you i mean it's it's almost like an invisible emotion yeah yeah it's pretty it's it's super hard to it's super nerve wracking. So that also plays a part in how you're going to sound. You know, mm-hmm. you have to keep yourself mentally under control so that you sound good. Cause if not, you're going to sound all over the place. So that's definitely another aspect. That's very, very hard to, you know, control. People all over the nation have gone into restaurants. We, we experience what we think is mariachi music. I, I, I really <laughs> want in my heart for you to become the ambassador of true, authentic mariachi music so that we can, we can respect what's at the restaurants, but maybe we can travel to the outdoor festivals and fiestas where we can enjoy what it really is authentically like. Yeah, I mean, definitely at the Mexican, Mexican restaurants, that is it is how it is it's just better when it's on a big stage you know Mm -hmm. they always have so much passion and so much love when they sing and um that's part of the reason why i love singing it and singing in spanish so um yeah do you find yourself doing that once the the nbc's the voice is over maybe doing a a, a, you know how about what i'm starting to hear these days only because of bad bunny i'm starting to hear a collision of (laughs) of english and spanish together Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. I have songs already written that I'm being trans that are being translated so I can have half and half. I mean, I I want to represent that side of me, and um, I've always done that. I just never put it out there. So um, you know, now's the perfect time. Like you said, Bad Bunny opened that door, and a lot of people are doing it, and um, that's who I am. So yeah, definitely going to be doing that myself. How are fans reacting? They've, they've got to be levitating toward you in huge ways because you are one of us. And, and that's that's what's so interesting about you. Is like, It's like, oh, my God, she could be my neighbor. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they've been so, so sweet. I think I try my very hardest in the interviews to just be myself and 
you know, even if I'm making a goofy face or just saying something silly, like I, I just tried really hard to stay true to who I am. And, um, people have been really loving it and they have been so sweet and sending me messages every time. And, you know, it's been awesome. Just the, the amount of love that I've received has been really, really cool. Only because your grandmother put it out there and I'm a true believer in this. Uh, is your grandfather sitting with you while you do these interviews today? A hundred percent. Oh yes, my he God. Is. That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh my God. Cause I, I have my mother and my brother right here with me as well. Every, every conversation they're right here and they tap me on the shoulder when I'm not doing it right. Yes, exactly. You know, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but for you to sing a Leanne rhyme song that when, because I was on the radio when she first came out and we were all in awe and then here you come and I'm going, can I have a double awe on the same song? <laughs> oh my gosh I know I was so little I wish that I could you know remember everything my parents told me about that day but um that song holds a place special place in my heart and always will wow songwriting is under attack right now because of AI I mean it, Hollywood is embracing <laughs> it where musicians are going what are you doing first of all what are you doing to protect your voice because they can take that and number two what are you doing to protect that writing you know, the voice is a is a whole other aspect that I'm not even sure how to protect. I think <laughs> the they, they've already gotten all the voices, all the big voices, you know. But at the end of the day, no one, no matter how hard any robot tries, it's not going to be you. you yeah. They don't have your, your brain. They don't have your exact chords. You know, they're robots. So they, they can. They're, they're great. They're going to be able to come up with, you know, many things. But it's never going to be Rudy. It's never going to be what I have to say and I think that's that's the only thing I, I can hold on to you know <laughs> I love your confidence and I hope those that are around you at NBC's The Voice really feel on that and build upon that because your foundation is about outreach anyway but it, but your confidence really does radiate yeah you need confidence if not this industry will eat you up I know you know that so <laughs> yeah. um, you know it's it's been shot down a few times but you gotta get back up what's your website so people can come and show you some love and if you've got merchandise they need to buy it Yes, um, it's just Rudy, I-T-S, J-U-S-T-R-U-D-I on all socials. Um, and no merch yet, but new singles will be coming out. So keep a lookout for that. Excellent. Please come back to the show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Oh, thank you so much, Arrow. I appreciate it. Will you be brilliant today, okay? I will. Thank you. You too.